As you learn to grow in the love that God has for you to heal your heart and bring transformation, you begin to delve into his loving acceptance, his kindness, and his patience. And as we learn to experience that, it helps us to realize some of the yokes that we're carrying in our life that just add pressure, weight, and burden. But because of God's great love for us, we can do an exchange with him. We can let go of the yokes that we're carrying and take his yoke on our life. And Jesus said that yoke is not a yoke of pressure. It's a yoke that he says is actually light. It says in Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I'm going to give you rest. Just reading that right there releases pressure. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, because I'm gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, I find that when we don't carry the yoke that Jesus talks about, what we do is we collect yokes in this world, in this life that God never meant us to have, never meant for us to carry. And those yokes often bring about pressure. They bring about stress. The question I want to bring to you in your heart healing journey is, what are some of the pressure points that are working against you? I find a lot in my work with people, one-on-one or in group settings, I love the joy of releasing people from pressures they're carrying to just point out, you don't have to carry that. There's so many things that we carry in life and we're burdened down by them. And we go, oh yeah, this is what I got to carry. And sometimes it's good to ask, has God really asked me to carry this? If so, do I find rest for my soul that Jesus said? He said, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. He doesn't mean that you wouldn't have challenges in life. But he says what he gives you in the yoke that he's walking with you in, he's not adding pressure. One of the things I want to point out is God does not operate with pressure. And many times we just equate it with the loudest voices and the loudest demands. We take them on, we carry them. And then many times we're acting like false martyrs, aren't we? Oh, it's so difficult. Oh, it's so hard. Do you really need to carry that pressure? Do you need to really be carrying that yoke? And some areas you can ask yourself to help discern this is often in these areas here that create the yoke of pressure. Expectation. The expectations that you put on yourself. The expectations you think God may be having over your life. And maybe somebody else needs to talk you through it and maybe bring some different direction because some of the yokes you think you're supposed to carry, you're not supposed to carry. Maybe you have an expectation, God, you need to work in this way, in this timing. And it stresses you out because you're not just buckling your seatbelt and going, I'm on a ride, I'm on a journey. And I need to take this one day at a time and take the pressure off. What about performance pressure? I find a large percentage of Christianity lives under what I call performance-driven Christianity. Your life and your sense of well-being is based on how well you're doing that day. And so your your sense of love and, and your sense of refreshment goes up and down all the time. Maybe your life focus is on achievement. So it's constantly creating pressure. And there are many high achievers out there that know how to achieve impressive things. But you're not at peace because you're under a yoke that puts pressure on your achievement. And you can't even enjoy the things that you're able to do or be a part of in your life and your journey. Maybe the yoke of perfectionism was weighing you down. Perfectionism and what you do, what you're a part of, the expectations of how you're supposed to be or what you're going through or what you're battling in your life. And you're pretty hard on yourself. It could be the expectation of results of where you think you should be at this point in your life. Maybe you think you should have been further than you are now 10 years ago. Or maybe you need to see certain results in your job or your ministry or your family and you're not seeing it. Pressure comes in. Pressure weighs on you. With the pressure comes stress. With the stress comes anger. And then you're irritable with people. And then you're wondering why there's such chaos and you feel like you're drowning. You're under the yoke of pressure. Or here's a big one. The ungodly yoke of other people's expectations. 
So you become a people pleaser. So you have a radar for how people feel about you. You're always sensing what they think about you. You're always making sure to try to do things to keep people happy. And at the end of the day, you're under a yoke of pressure. Jesus said, come to me. You're running to all these other places. Come to me because I'm going to give you rest. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to put you under a yoke of pressure. I'm going to put a different yoke that's light. There's a grace. There's an operating power from who I am that's going to work in your life. Yeah, you'll have hardship. Yeah, you'll have struggles, but I'm going to be with you and I'm not going to be putting pressure on you. And I'm going to be teaching you the whole way. Because he said this, he says, take my yoke and learn from me. So then at each stage in life, you're learning, you're growing. Each opportunity is a learning experience, not a pressure experience. It's an adventure of learning. So let me ask you today, where are your pressure points in your healing journey that you need to let go of? They're interfering with the work God's doing in your life. And what if there's just no pressure and you were able to just release that by first letting go? What do you need to truly let go of? Now, I find that I'll let go of something and 30 seconds later, I'll take it right back. So letting go is an exercise that needs to be developed. You know, Peter said this in his writing, cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. I learned to let go, take the yoke of Christ and rest in the Father's care for me. And also reminding yourself the pressure's off. I remember early on when I would do public speaking and I would be so nervous, so stressed out. And man, it would just bother me and bother me for days. And I had OCD issues too. So I would just spin over it over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I, I, I developed this routine where I learned about this yoke of pressure. And I would have this saying that I would say to myself to release the pressure is I would say, God, you love these people more than I could ever love them. And so I give myself permission to take the pressure off because there is no pressure. This is what I would say. I defy all pressure in my life. I say no to all pressure. There is no pressure because in the kingdom of heaven, God is not under pressure. I'm his child, so therefore there's no pressure that I'm under. So the pressure's off. And I release myself to enjoy this moment, to share my heart. And I could feel the weight that was on, whether it was other people putting it on me, whether it was the enemy putting it on me, the agreements that I had that were keeping that entanglement. Over time, I could feel myself being released of pressure. So where do you need to let go? And where do you need to stand up and say, the pressure is off? Maybe it's in the timing and your expectation. And you need to say today, you know what? It'll take as long as it takes. There is no timeline in pressure. Transformation will take as long as it takes. Healing will take as long as it takes. God, I release the results into your hands. You're in control. And I just partner with what you're doing. I take your yoke and the, I take the yoke of pressure off my life. I pray this is a blessing to your life. Join me in the heart healing journey and let God do the work that he's doing in your life day by day. There's no pressure. It's in his love and it's in his grace. God bless you.